people can get woolly beaver, PMMA piano shirts, and profitmuscle.com, Facebook, and Instagram. All you gotta do is click right here and you can get the shirts. Was he a big time drug dealer? Um, I would say, I mean, everybody I know it's who her. went to the gym within a 20 mile radius knew that he was the one to go to for that stuff. Criminal copyright infringement will be investigated. Now, speaking of movies, it's actually funny because he pretends that he got all his money from movies, Planet of Apes. He supposedly made over 300000 With his commercials, he made over $2 million. Um, I don't think it's accurate. Planet of the Apes, where I, uh, I was on that movie for nine months straight. I, I probably made close, maybe close to three. 300,000 on that movie. I also did the stunts for the Black Army Gorillas. A lot of the stunts, most of the stunts. Now the thing is, is funny thing is I wasn't a stunt man. Huh? I mean, I don't think it is either. I mean, I wasn't I wasn't in his life mm -hmm. when when he did Planet of the Apes, that was when he was married, but he did tell me that when I, when he got paid for any of that, he put it toward um, the house in Northridge. My first house I bought my second house I bought was in Northridge. Which I think was around 500000 maybe. Mm -hmm. And I know they still had a mortgage on it. So whatever they put down, if that was money, you know, from his movies or commercials, that's, that's where he told me it went. And, um, and I would be around, you know, getting the mail and stuff when he would get residual checks for stuff that was still playing. And, I mean, the checks were like two, 300 bucks. Which he never even cashed because he didn't know how to go to the bank and <laughs> endorse the check within a certain time period before the check was null and void. So a lot of those checks didn't even get cashed. Now he pretends that he knows about everything. Oh, I made millions of dollars with Intel, with the stock market. But, um... <laughs> Intel, right? That was one of my big money makers was Intel. Intel... It's what you told me sounds totally different. Could you please elaborate on it, please? With the client, he said. Yes. Um, he used to train this client that was a stockbroker. So he used to give Rich tips on the stock market. So my experience with Rich in the stock market was, um, I think he got a check for like eight or ten thousand dollars from his from his grandmother, mm -hmm. or um, that passed away. This is basically what my grandma and grandfather did. And, you know, they, they passed away. But when they passed away, they had accumulated over 20 properties. And Rich opened up an E-Trade account um, for stocks and thought he would take um, his client's advice with these so-called tips. And my experience with him is within a matter of hours, all that money was gone because he lost it. So, and all the time... I spent with him, mm -hmm. he had zero luck in the stock market. And I remember um, his ex-wife also told me that he lost all the money when he tried it, you know, back before him and I were together, that he lost it all within a matter of hours or less. Right. So to my knowledge, and for as long as I've known him, he had zero success in the stock market. Or with his properties in Texas that he claims to make money off of. I took that fucking tip and I went there with, you know, $600,000 and I ended up buying two triplexes and three houses, believe it or not. People will attempt to bury a lie in a sentence by overemphasizing. Exactly, because he mentioned in his videos that he has two uh, duplexes and um, three houses that he bought in Texas. And um, he made tons of money, and um, he's saying that everybody should go into the real estate business. So that's not true, because they are foreclosed, right? Profit muscle. That's right. Um, when I was with him, um, when he left his wife, he gave the wife the house to um, continue making payments on. Mm -hmm. And she stopped making payments. And after I moved back to Florida, after the incident where Rich went to jail... When I moved back to Florida, he moved back into the Northridge house mm -hmm. um, that his wife hadn't been paying on. And the wife moved out and Rich was now staying in the Northridge house. And he continued not to pay on the Northridge house for at least four years. So not only did the Northridge house get foreclosed on, his um, Texas properties 
got foreclosed on even before the Northridge house. And even, um, you know, when he was making payments on them with the rent and the house or the duplex payment, he was only making maybe $200 a month off those properties. But very quickly, they all foreclosed on. So what it really comes down to is that all the money that he's really um, obtained is through drug dealing because that's what I was reading in your articles and that's what really made me contacting you because a drug dealer can't be a role model for these young kids and this is unbelievable to me. If you can go into details with the drug dealing stuff because this is really bothering me. Um, well now he has his company now so obviously that is making money for him but when I was with him for all those years. I mean, he had maybe maybe three clients at Gold's Gym Hollywood that he would charge $50 an hour to train them. But the majority, I mean, almost all of his business came from his, came from the other source, mm -hmm. which you just mentioned. And um, that has been going on for, for quite some time now. I don't think it'll ever stop. Mm -hmm. Now he also mentioned that um he um he 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 um buys d d drugs steroids you know for his uh, training partners but he don't charge any money from that and uh, he only w whatever he pays for it that's what he asks for that's so so that's totally incorrect so what he's doing is uh, when he goes to Mexico did you knew that he might you know, uh, bought drugs over there in Mexico, which he sold to to fighters, to bodybuilders, to athletes. I buy my workout partner a bottle of tests. I give it to him and, you know, he pays me what I paid. I'm not making any money. You know, I'm doing a favor for a friend. But that is a fucking drug dealer. I have now became a drug dealer. You know, if they got a hold of my personal stash and that went to court, I would legally they would say you are a drug dealer like was he a big um, he, he actually doesn't get the stuff in mexico he has um somebody right there in california that actually gets all the powders and all the supplies from some other country mm -hmm. and this guy then makes all the stuff bottles all the stuff labels all the stuff so he has you know his own person that makes all this stuff no, but I'm I'm saying well, back in the days when he was, you know, heavy in the drug game, was he um like was he a, was he a big time drug dealer? Um, I would say I mean everybody, I know it's who went to the gym within a twenty mile radius knew that he was the one to go to mm -hmm. for that stuff. What is really funny to me that even like you know, serostim is um gross hormone and it's um illegal unless you get it um pres uh unless you get it from a doctor now he just goes you know in his videos he just shows it oh here is my you know serious my gross hormone which i got um you know not from a doctor but currently um i'm not being prescribed you know that knowledge out there that i'm taking growth hormone is not a very good situation as everyone knows so I, it's mandatory that I have nothing in my house, you know, in case anybody wanted to come check that out. Uh, I got the, got my Cero stem. It's Cero stem time. Good morning. So I got my BCAs, my Cero stem. And to me, it's unbelievable that um, he basically is luring youngsters to um follow his criminal past and also that the police is not doing anything about it it's just unbelievable for uh, to me because he basically is showing his illegal act just online and that's just unbe unbelievable you know and um now he always portrays himself like this hardcore gangster like he got stabbed he got shot is there any truth to it oh let me stop you one second so i could touch on what you just said before we get into a new topic okay the um growth hormone that he gets mm -hmm. um like he knows a lot of people from gold gym hollywood which is predominantly you know gay men mm -hmm. and he knows all you know the gay people with hiv mm -hmm. that get their growth hormone oh, from the doctors mm -hmm. 
and these people, you know, who are sick that need it are also broke and they don't have a whole lot of money. So as soon as they get their, their year supply of growth hormone or X amount of months, they call Rich and he buys all of it from mm. them. And that's how he gets the growth hormone. He has several people that when they get their supply, <laughs> turn around and sell it to Rich because they'd rather have the money than the profit muscle than the drugs, even though they need it. And um, it also amazes me that a red flag wouldn't go up because he would have at least 20 people coming over to the house every day, like traffic constantly mm -hmm. at the house. Or, you know, you would think, why aren't the neighbors scratching their head and thinking, right. what the heck is going on here? Because it was so obvious. And it's just sad because these kids that look up to him, they think, oh, if I just, you know, eat his food and drink his shakes and do this workout, I'll be him one day. And it's so far-fetched. These kids are never going to look like him unless they do the amount of drugs that he, that he does. Um, you know, Sarosim is prescribed for HIV. And a lot of the guys that are prescribed growth hormone, they don't take the growth hormone because they can sell it for money and, uh, you know, a decent amount of money. So... Serostim goes for between four and six hundred dollars a kit. So do the math there. Six times four is twenty four hundred dollars. So, you know, I was paying probably around two thousand dollars a month for my growth hormone. But if I was going through a doctor and getting it prescribed again, it would be eight thousand a month. Or PMMA. Yes, injections have absolutely no life. No, because this is, uh, actually, I know 100% you're telling the truth because when, once you mentioned, like, he got, you know, the ster the uh, gross hormone from the HIV people that he knows, he actually indicated in one of his videos, he said, oh, yeah, you know, you know, um, people, you know, people can get, you know, gross hormone, you know, you know, from people, you know, who got HIV and they, they get it. Uh, normally it costs $8,000, but they, but the, the people, you know, who got HIV and um, get it from the doctor, they just sell it for, um, you know, $2,000. So I know now. now he, Rich would actually get it for um, between six and $800 and then you would turn around and make a profit out of it just depending on which HIV guy was selling it, but he never paid more than $800 for it, and then he would turn around and sell it for 1200 Now, to me, what is mind-blowing, that with all those, you know, with him basically on camera telling what he's doing, that the police never I know. did anything. Like, this is just, like, the proof is in the pudding. And, um, like, everybody can see what is going on, and... Uh, the police just don't do anything about it. And this is just crazy. To I know. Me. And there's been so many times that he's, you know, been in the car on his way to the gym where his whole entire bag is filled with brown paper bags with, you know, people's name on it for, you know, different orders. And his whole entire bag is just filled with stuff and he get pulled over. And I'm like, oh my gosh, this is going to be the end of it. And you would think just because mm -hmm. of how he looks, the police would find something like to search his car or something, but he always. But Amy, let, let me. A sorry, bullet. sorry that I interrupt you. But here comes the part of Rich Piana. He knows exactly how to talk to people, and the way he talks to the police officers, right? The way he talks to them, you know, he he, he kind of. Profit muscle. The police officers actually like want to take pictures with him because he's so. I know. Because I he's know. so. Because Amy, I know. See, Amy. I might never live with this guy, Piana, but if I see a person, I can tell exactly, you know, his, you know, who he really is. And he's so extremely good into manipulating people's brains that to, that instead of, um, of the police officers arresting him, they actually take pictures with him. Fucking cop over here on my left, goddammit. Fuck, I hate that shit. About 10 minutes ago. Uh, babe. Yeah? What's that? No, we just left the gym. We heard that there's something going on, but yeah. But the point. Yeah, and he's made comments before, like these kids are so stupid, they'll believe anything you tell them, you know, so he'll say whatever he needs to say mm -hmm. in the video. But, I mean, he really has no personality. 
Like he says, whatever it takes. So if he has to f over people. Well, seven hundred. That's Cheesecake Factory. Nah. Uh, <laughs> should have answered. In your face. God damn it! I should have answered. Should I call back and say, uh, say, yeah, um, I was told that you guys would not let me in if I got there at 11. So I got there at 11.01, and the girl was so adamant that she would not let me in that I, I just left because she said she would not let me in no matter what. <laughs> like, I'm talking right now to the youth right now. Like, how can you have him as a role model, Profit you know, when... I know. The drug dealer. Like, I mean, he, he uses drugs, he sells drugs, he abuses women, he manipulates people. And I'm not even talking about physically abusing women. I told you the, the mental abuse. Mm -hmm. I mean, was a, I, I would rather been beaten every day of my life than go through the mental that I went through. I, I can't even describe it. The whole time he was married to his ex-wife, mm -hmm. I mean, she paid the bills that she runs the 5% company actually out here in Florida. My warehouse is in Clearwater. Your ex girlfriend being interviewed and stating these facts. How are you going to deny these facts, Rich? How? Oh, and all of his um, Gucci stuff and all this name brand stuff isn't even Gucci. He goes on this website where they have knockoff stuff mm -hmm. and buys all this stuff. And I know he's always said, Oh, look at I'm wearing my Gucci shoes and my Gucci belt to the gym and Gucci this, Gucci that. Like, when I was with him, he was buying it off this cheap knockoff website. And then I got these Gucci's, and these fucking match perfectly. I got fucking about 20 more belts, and I got, I've already bought about probably six more watches that are all better. I mean, look at that shit. When I was going out to Mexico to rescue that lion, mm -hmm. after he hadn't seen me in a while, he's like, oh, where have you been? I'm like, oh, I was in Mexico. You know, there's this lion that I'm trying to rescue. I actually had to stop animal activism altogether when I was with him because I couldn't be out of his sight to even do activism work. So when I said, oh, I've been going to Mexico, he's like, oh, you know, next time you go, can you bring me back some Cytomel and Clembuterol? You don't believe that? Just ask animal activist Amy Ward on her Instagram and she will confirm it. Back up your words and confirm the fight and I will disappear. Believe it. What is that? Told you don't play with me. Okay. Click the link below to watch the full interview. Piana's ex-girlfriend gonna expose Rich Piana for being a drug dealer, woman beater, scam artist. Don't miss it, watch it. Um, he had butt implants done by I think it was like a uh, transgender person that actually 